Do you sneakily lie and make implications that are not true? Let's go deeper and find out why that is and how you can let go of that. So if this is the first time we meet, I'm Jonas Erb and on this channel we talk about authenticity and personal growth. We provide tools and ideas that help you gain clarity, freedom and fulfillment in your life. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing just down here. So I want to tell you a little story so you understand what I'm talking about. So recently with my girlfriend, there was a situation where I was telling her that I was going to go to an event with a friend of mine. And there was the implication that I was just going there with a friend of mine. But actually there was another person coming as well. And I was subconscious, I was basically implying that it was only me and him by the way that I was saying it. Um, and she somehow intuitively felt that there was something odd and she, she basically pointed it out. And then I told her that, yeah, there was this other person coming as well. And so I've realized in that situation, once again, that yes, I was basically implying uh, something that wasn't true. So it was kind of lying. I wasn't actually not saying the truth. I was saying the truth, but I was implying something which wasn't true. And so what happened is basically that she lost a little trust in me by me doing that. And this is something that happens often. And I'm actually very good at pointing it out in other people. And I was surprised to see that actually I was doing it as well sometimes. And so I was going deeper on that, trying to understand what is actually behind that. And so behind that was basically some kind of avoidance of trying to avoid emotional tension. I was trying to avoid what was going to happen if I was going to say this real truth. I wasn't fully sure if if she's going to be comfortable with this other person coming as well. I wasn't really comfortable with how I was going to deal in this emotional tension. And so basically it was like a subconscious avoiding strategy of mine not to say the thing. But in the end, um, what happens if I do that is that I'm that the other person is going to lose trust in me. It's going to lose um, a little bit of trust. And if I do that, as well, I kind of imply that I don't trust the other person to handle the truth. And I also imply that I don't trust myself to handle the truth. And so it's really important uh, to understand. And I, I went a little deeper as well on where this can come from. And it's basically also just, it's basically just some kind of fear. In that, in that moment, it was some kind of fear of not being able to, to deal with this tension or, or how the other person is going to react if, the, if, if, if the, there's going to be any change in the relationship in the way we're relating. And so, but in the end, uh, what is going to happen in the long run if I continue to do that is that she's going to lose trust and I'm also going to lose trust in the relationship because I'm not 100% fully honest. And this happens with a lot of people and um, this is actually that if you comp compound that, if you do that often, it's going to build this little like subconscious feeling of mistrust. Because as soon as something comes out, as soon as something that like this is actually being brought to the table, like being brought to the surface, then the, the trust is just going to break and break and break. And however, if I really say those things out and I really say the truth, I'm risking something. I'm risking that the other person is probably not going to like the real truth or that there's going to be some situation which brings up emotional tension. I'm risking something, but by risking, I'm actually subconsciously or implying that I am able to deal with this and you are able to deal with this. And I trust you and myself to deal with this thing. And this builds trust because if by risking something, I trust that we can handle it. And so the more I'm actually risking and really being fully honest and real, the more trust there is going to be. And the more I do make implications that aren't true and say something that isn't really true, the less I'm going to really trust this relationship because it's coming out of like, I don't trust me or the other person to handle the situation. So I'd rather don't say the real truth. And so just understand that when you're risking and actually saying the real truth, this risk is going to add to the relationship, it's going to add to the, to the trust in this relationship or friendship. So, and I would like you to think about in your life, where do you imply when you're saying something to someone, where do you imply something which isn't true? And when you do that, go a little deeper and find out what is the reason that you don't say that real truth? Why, what is the reason that you miss, that you actually misrepresent in that moment? And it's okay, there are some situations where you might, like with someone maybe at work or wherever, where you feel like, okay, it's not the right moment, I don't want to 
like say that thing now and I kind of misrepresent. But the, the deeper relationship is and the more you actually want to connect with someone, the more important it is to let go of those things and really make them conscious and go deeper into the fear whatever or, or into the pain or whatever is coming up when you when you realize that you're not actually 100% true um, and you're implying something that isn't true. Go into that feeling, like allow this fear to come up and really feel into that feeling and allow that feeling to really be felt and process, really welcome it up, fully welcome it up. And rather than trying to run away from it and like push it away, try to really feel into it and relax into it and let it all come up, let it pass through, let it just go. And so this is the way that you can, can really deepen your relationships and be aware of what are the things that you in your life uh, are sometimes doing that, you, that, you, that are not really, really truthful. So this was what I wanted to say in this video. Let me know what is your experience with um, misrepresenting in a way or mit basically implying something that isn't true. What has happened in situations in your life and c were you able to change them with, with the, the, the tips that I gave you here? And if you liked the video, please hit the like button. And to help support my channel, please subscribe to my channel and turn on this notification button where you get notified for new videos. And watch some more of my videos. This one is the one that YouTube thinks you would like the most. And this one is my most recent video. So have fun watching and have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.